So good evening. And Alan, thank you very much. Thank you for that nice introduction and for recognition of our staff. Appreciate it. Uh, and good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is an honor uh, for me uh, and for the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven uh, to be here with you uh, this evening and to mark with you another uh, outstanding year for Valley Philanthropy and for the Valley Community Foundation. So VCF is now 13. Uh, at, at that uh, propitious age, uh, VCF has become what its founders, myself included, hoped and envisioned uh, 13 years ago. It's what we hoped and envisioned it would be. And, and uh, I'm sure many of you have had teenagers. You can't, you can't say that necessarily about all 13-year-olds. But uh, in the case of VCF, it's true. VCF embodies the powerful connections that you all in this room and so many others in the Valley feel for this special place, this unique Valley community. And VCF has become one of the Valley's truly indispensable institutions. VCF stands for the commitment of this generation of Valley residents to building a strong future for the benefit of the generations that will follow you here in the Valley. In other words, in all these ways, VCF has become a community foundation that is worthy of this great community. And that's saying a lot. We can see this in the wonderful new funds that we'll hear about tonight and in the great Valley stories that stand behind those funds. We can see this in how VCF has grown over these last 13 years from a standing start to more than $21 million in total assets at the end of 2016. And perhaps most tellingly, I can see this as I look around this room this evening, as I listen to all that's being said, not only from the podium, but in all the private conversations that have been taking place, said about VCF and about its role in the Valley. Now, as I've said on this occasion before, the Community Foundation in New Haven is not just your partner. We're your very proud partner. In the 65 years since we received the bequests of Frank and Ross Gates, TCF has served the Valley. First, mostly as a grant maker, and in recent years, since VCF was founded, through our comprehensive support for VCF. We know which way is more inspirational. We know which way is more effective. And so we know now that what we believed in 2004 is indeed true. That building this leadership institution for Valley philanthropy has been and remains a very wise and forward-looking investment of the Valley philanthropic resources that were entrusted to us in the 1950s. And a very large investment, that is. Indeed, for us in New Haven, the Gates Fund is our largest fund, and the investment we make every year in VCF is our largest investment. In 2017, we are providing VCF with more than $1.1 million in direct financial support for administrative costs and grant making, as well as several hundred thousand dollars in additional support in the form of staff services. Now, why do we provide this extraordinary support? The answer is that because, from our perspective in New Haven, VCF is not just another grantee. We have hundreds of grantees, but none of them get support at anywhere near the levels that are provided to VCF. No, the Valley Community Foundation is much more than a grantee of ours. VCF is actually how we do our work in the Valley. VCF is how we fulfill our obligations to the Gates brothers and to all those who followed the Gates example by establishing funds with us over the years to benefit the Valley. People with distinguished Valley names like Farrell and Chatfield and Gudkin and Bogan, to name just a few. We believe that those Valley donors would be pleased that their funds grant making is benefiting from the deep Valley knowledge and leadership stature of the board and staff of this institution, while at the same time that their funds are being used to raise new Valley philanthropy. And those two things can happen simultaneously because of the, of the affiliation between our two institutions. So as Alan said, one of our shared goals for 2017 is to renew our affiliation agreement. We do this every seven years, and the time has come again. We're hard at work on this, and our two boards will meet together 
next week as an important step forward in that process. As strong and mutually beneficial as our relationship is today and has been in recent years, we believe that this process of renewing our affiliation can make it even stronger, particularly when combined with the work we'll do together next year as VCF undertakes it to update its strategic plan in 2018. Our 2017 goal is a new long-term agreement that creates stronger strategic alignment, stronger operational alignment, and a clearer public understanding of our partnership. So even as we celebrate this evening, I'm looking forward also to our next celebration later this year, a celebration of our new affiliation agreement, one that will both further strengthen VCF and enable TCF to even better honor the intent of our Valley donors. Finally, there are many people to thank tonight. To my fellow VCF board members, I thank you for your extraordinary leadership commitment to the Valley. Special thanks go to Alan Tyma, who has devoted more than a quarter of a century to this relationship and who has chaired both the VCF and TCF boards. And special thanks also to Jimmy Ryan, who brings his unique combination of wisdom and credibility and experience to the table as a member of both boards today. And thank you to Sharon and Val and Beth and John, thanks so much for all you do every day with us and for the Valley. And I want to also thank our own staff on Audubon Street, some of whom are here, as you've already seen, but every one of whom not only does the work of VCF, but does it with the conviction that your work is our work because your community is our community. So I thank, I thank our staff as well. And of course, perhaps most of all, many, many thanks to you all here in this room, the people of the Valley, whose devotion and commitment and faith in this community and its future is what VCF is all about. So I thank you all. Now I'm gonna ask uh, our board vice chair and our, who's the chair of the program committee, uh, my good friend, uh, who's a great leader in this community, has been a great leader for many years in this community, Lynn Bassett-Perry to come up uh, for the next portion of the program. Lynn. 